Hello everyone, welcome to Coder and Boots. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the topic how to schedule jobs in Linux. Okay, so there is something called cron jobs in Linux. So that that capability we can use for scheduling jobs or automating your tasks on a specific schedule in Linux. Okay, so the cron jobs can be achieved by using uh, a file called or a command called uh, cron tab. Okay, cron tab stands for cron table. Okay, so basically cron table it's a it's a file in inside the Linux uh, operating system itself where we keep the cron entries okay so uh, so we specify the so the the syntax is the schedule and the script okay we specify the, uh, the schedule we specify the script to execute okay so in this way what will happen is the system the cron executor will pick this file it will uh, identify the schedule then it will execute the script based on the schedule okay so uh, it's a very handy tool and uh, we can use it for automating uh, several tasks like um, uh, so for example uh, let's say if you want to run backups right so you can run the backup on a periodic basis maybe at 11 pm every day or maybe on fridays every week right so the schedules you can uh, you can configure based on your choice right and uh uh, I'll, I'll explain into the I'll explain the commands and everything and also there is an option like I mean to block the users from using cron tab right so uh, there is just like I mean the SSH or uh, uh, or SSH so there is an option to allow or deny right so in this way uh, what we can do is we can specify the users whom you want to allow okay or the specify the users whom you want to deny cron so those users uh, will be blocked from using cron okay so the only only catch over there is whatever cron jobs you have already configured right those jobs will run for the users but it will the any, any entries to cron.allow or cron.deny so that will act only for new crons okay existing crons will run because that uh, the the linkage between cron.allow or deny to the cron tab is it will check only during the execution of cron tab command okay so once it is already entered uh, then it will execute so the only way to block is or uh, stop is by removing the cron entries from the specific uh, user user cron tab files and this cron tab file we can uh, set it up at the user uh, level okay so we can keep the cron jobs or uh, there will be a cron tab file at the user level and you can enter the cron job uh, inform details into the uh, in the user specific cron tab so that the job will run as the specific user at the specific interval so now uh, instead of explaining a lot we will get into the practical session so what i am going to do here is i am going to run an api okay so just to show you uh, the repeated process happening right i am going to run a python program that's an api and i wanted to call this uh, api every minute once in a minute okay so uh, that's the goal so let i have an app.py over here so this is my python program so if you see this has a simple flask api and it has an endpoint slash api it runs on port 8000 okay and uh, it returns what status success so that's the program simple program so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this program here. So let's start this first before starting that. Let me uh, activate the Python virtual environment. Okay. Activate. Okay. Activate it. Now let me come back. Come back. Now I have python app.py okay so now it's running now you see the program is running on port 8000 okay so now 192 168.5.12 this is my local IP address and 8000 is the port so what we can do here is let's test the API here it's a get request get API so you see when I hit this API I'll get the response status success right and corresponding to the request you will see a uh, hit coming over here as well you can see uh, there is a, a request to slash api okay from uh, this ip address 192.168.5.148 okay so the goal is i have a separate machine second machine over here that is uh, this machine okay kali kali so this is a different uh, linux machine if you see this ip address uh, this is 192.168.5.137 let's test the connectivity from here curl uh, then 192.168.5.12 5.12 uh, 
colon 8000 slash API. Let's hit this. Okay, so it's responding uh, success. So that means I mean the network connectivity is happening. It is able to make the request. Now what we'll do is we'll configure the cron tab over here. So the command is cron tab space hyphen E. Okay, cron tab space hyphen E. That's the command. Let's enter that. So uh, if you are opening this for the first time, it will ask you what type of editor that you want to use for opening the cron tab. So it will ask you either nano or vi. Uh, so depending upon your choice, you can specify the editor. It will give you options like one, two, three and all. So you can uh, you can choose whatever editor you want and then it will open up this file. So this is right now the default file, which is the empty file okay, of the cron tab. So this is the cron tab file. Okay, and this file is specific to my user. Okay. And here in this cron tab, uh, they have already given some example. You see this, uh, the position, you, you see there is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. The schedule can be configured by adjusting this five uh, values. Okay. So this is, uh, we can enter numeric values in the five uh, uh, positions and then you can uh, put the command that you want to execute. So this five positions denotes the first one is for minute, second one is for hour, third one is for date of month okay fourth one is for uh, month fifth one is for date of week okay date of month means let's say in a calendar month we have what uh, we have one two three four five six like this i mean we have uh, 28 29 right 30 31 depending upon the month okay so the dates vary right so we have these many days right and month means what we have months from 1 to 12 right january february march april so depending upon what is the month uh, if it is the first month it is uh, one if it is the second month it's two third month it's three like that i mean if it is december it is 12. date of the week means it is for monday tuesday wednesday so this can be from values from one to seven okay so it's all numeric values uh, so minute means it's a minute so it can be between 0 to 60 hour again it is the values can be from 0 to 12 right uh, date of month as i explained already this okay and if you specify star star means i mean it will be for everything okay let's say if i keep star that means every minute so this the, the granularity is at the minute level okay so here the the granularity is minute so that means if i specify uh, star that means every minute okay so if I specify uh, a specific for example this one okay so this one what happens this is uh, fifth hour okay fifth hour zeroth minute okay and then every uh, day right and every uh, month okay uh, and this one Monday right that means every Monday 5 a.m. right execute this at 5 a.m. okay on Monday Okay, so this is what happens with the script 5 a.m. Uh, every uh, okay, and then this will execute what it will basically do the zipping of this particular directory and it creates the value uh, the data over here. Okay, it stores the backup over here. Okay, so if it is configured for everything, what usually people do is we keep some variable element over here as well to uh, avoid overwriting this file so that I mean it will create week, week specific, uh, weekly specific. Uh, backups right so and if you are confused with this uh, representation uh, there are online cron tab validators okay so that can be used for creating cron files for example if you just search uh, there is something called cron tab guru Th this is not just the uh, site there are a lot of sites and this is very user friendly so if you see uh, it explains like i mean the um, the cron cron uh, expression cron expression very well so if you see here if i put star everything uh, in all the positions what will happen so it means every minute right that means i mean the script will get executed every minute let's say one means at minute one that means i mean every hour the first minute this will execute right if i put one one this means one or oh one right so if i put like uh, zero right then five then one that means at 5 a.m. on Monday that is what I mean we have it over here right 5 a.m. on Monday okay so this is what we have so we can use this for configuring uh, your cron expression okay you can use this will be very helpful to validate uh, your cron expression so now what I'll do is I'll create something that executes every minute okay so for this example I'll create some uh, cron script that executes every minute but before doing this what I'll do is uh, before doing this what I'll do is I'll uh, sorry uh, 
uh, what I'll do is I'll basically <clears throat> come out and create a script for calling that API. So we can do either this entire command itself inside our cron tab. So for example, here, what we can do, we can specify this star one, two, three, four, five, and then my script why this is the command right curl this entire thing we can either specify the full command or what we can do we can specify a shell script with executable permission okay so if i uh, so what will happen then that script will get executed let's see whether what will happen oh sorry okay so uh, star one two three four five Sorry, uh, I think I mean I it's command one, two, three, four, five, and the script. Okay, control Q, save. Okay, so now you see we have a cron tab over here, right? Cron tab hyphen E. Let's verify it again. So once you open it again, you will see the same entry over there. Okay. So I'm just ex exiting the file, no modification made. Now we will watch here. Okay, in our API, we will see whether we are receiving any hit. Uh, let's wait. Okay, so it will take almost a minute. The next minute, uh, we'll expect the execution. Yeah, you see now, now you see a hit, hit came, right? So this is something that got triggered from the, the other machine. Now we, we can expect another hit and another minute, okay? Let's wait. So in 60 seconds, this will execute again. In this way, uh, we can automate anything, right? So we'll wait for some few more seconds for the cron to execute. Cron to execute. Yeah, it's almost near to a minute. Let's see. Yeah, now you see it executed. Now this was executed in 29, 21.59. Now you see 20, uh, 201, right? So it executed in 60 seconds interval. Okay, so this will execute uh, execute at 60 seconds interval and it will keep executing. So in this way, it's not just limited to API. You can execute any command. Okay. I'll show one more example. So what I'll do is I'll create a shell script. Okay. So maybe let me create a script. MKDR scripts. Scripts inside this. Uh, so such. Okay. So then here I'll put uh, echo. Uh, echo what I'll do date date the value of date i am putting uh, to or i'll put or echo uh, yeah date to slash tmp slash scheduler dot out so let's see what will happen if i execute this command first okay so let's save this file come out so oh, one more thing this is a shell script right so what we'll do is we'll put shebang on the top hash exclamatory mark slash bin slash bash Okay, and then we'll give CS mode u plus x, then my schedule dot sh. Now let's execute it manually. Let's see what happens. In the slash temp, we will expect a file, uh, yeah, scheduler dot out. Okay, cat uh, slash tmp scheduler dot out. You see, it pr printed the date, right? So now let's execute it once again. If I execute it once again, it will append the date over there. You see, date, 
the time of execution it appended so ideally if any number of times if we execute what will happen it will happen keep appending the date to this file okay so now what we'll do we will let's uh, and let's verify the path of this file again it's in kali scripts and my schedule.sh that's the file name right okay so my schedule.sh so let's uh, frame the path kali scripts and that my schedule.sh this is the file so cron tab cron tab hyphen e again come in and then what we will do here is uh, it's again star i want to execute every one minute star star then i'll paste this uh, shell script okay now i'll come out okay let's verify whether the content is saved or not clone tab hyphen e yes the content is already there so let's come out now let's wait for what's happening with the tail hyphen f slash tmp slash scheduler dot out okay so ideally we will see a new record in this particular file every minute yeah you see a new record got added okay that means the shell script got executed so like this you can add any complex logic to your cron tab and schedule your job okay so this is a very powerful feature so you don't really need any programming language or anything to configure it and by default the system will execute this i hope this example is uh, useful and clear so if you have any feedbacks comments uh, questions anything feel free to comment below this video and if you are interested in this uh, video and if you want to uh, hear more uh, about like uh, more videos like this please subscribe to the channel as well thank you thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day